Hi, I'm Chris Peters, and this is episode three in our screencast series on building a social networking site using Cold Fusion on Wheels. In this episode, we'll show you how to do object validation and show errors on your forms. Now that we have our application successfully collecting user data and adding that to the database, let's add some data validation. So what we want to do to start with is make sure that the user provides values for all of these fields, first name, last name, email, gender, and their profile address, <clears throat> which is known as URL ID in the database. To do that, <clears throat> let's go in the models folder and add a CFC. And because we're dealing with the people table, we'll call it person, which is the singular form, and it will extend model with a capital M. Within our CFC, we'll add a constructor, which all these years you've lovingly known it as the init method. And to make sure all those values are provided, we'll call a wheels function called validates presence of. And you pass it a list of every field that you want that's required that must have a value and it must not be a blank value. Before we can really run that, uh, we need to have our controller react to the event that there's an error. So after this save call, what happens is if your validation rules are not met, the save will, will recognize that and will not try to do anything with the database. So what we'll do is call cffif, and on the user variable that we have here, we'll call the hasErrors method. And any wheels model has a hasErrors method, and that returns true if there were any errors when you tried to save the data to the database. So in the event that there is an error, we'll have it call render page. Render page is automatically called by all controller actions, so even this register method up here calls render page at the end transparently. Now if you call it manually, you can override its behavior. So we're going to pass it an action and we're going to pass it register because in the event that there's an error, we want to load the form again and show the error messages. Now it's worth pointing out that this code in the register method will not be run. The only thing that wheels will do is include the view file in the views user folder for register.cfm. Lastly, we want our um, form to react uh, if there's errors and tell the user. So we'll do error messages for and we'll pass it the name of the variable that holds the data which is this user variable. And as it turns out, it's convenient that this is called user because that's what we call the data here. That, that name must match whatever's in our form, obviously. So let's go ahead and fill out a couple values and we'll leave the rest of the form blank and run it. Now, here's what the error messages for function did. It basically included a bulleted list, an unordered list of error messages related to you know validations that did not pass when I tried to submit that. So it's identified the fields. Um, if we view source, you'll also notice that on the the fields where uh, there was an error, wheels surrounded it with a span of class field with errors, and this is really helpful if uh, we want to use CSS to further call out where the problems are. So let's add some real quick. And we'll say any inputs are where we want this behavior to go. And let's just give it a border of one pixel solid red. And of course we wouldn't want to do this normally directly in the, the HTML. We'd want to separate the styles out into a separate CSS file, but this is just for demo purposes. So let's submit this again. And notice that it 
use that uh, rule to outline those fields in red. The last thing we might want to do is uh, not allow the person to enter in a URL ID that was already taken by another user. Wouldn't be so good to uh, have a two users use the same username. So let's call validates uniqueness of and we'll pass that URL ID and I'll try entering in if you remember from the last tutorial uh, I had already entered in Chris D. Peters as a URL ID so let's add that in again and try registering and as you can see wheels through an error that says URL ID has already been taken and we can override that later if we want to but as you can see it's working so let's enter in mini mouse instead obviously my second choice and you can see that it's not throwing the error anymore so let's go ahead and enter in something that it's happy with click register and if we look at the database we'll see that finally wheels let us enter in the data that wraps up our screencast on object validation and showing errors. Visit us at cfwheels.org to catch more screencasts and to learn more about the framework.